Today's meditation is entitled, When Others Notice Change in Us, by Scott Stoner. It begins with a quote from the seventh chapter of Matthew. You will know them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorns or figs from thistles? In the same way, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. When we have made a significant change in our lives, it is not uncommon for others to notice. At first, it might be a wondering. There's something different about you lately, but I can't quite put my finger on it. You seem happier, lighter, more energetic. In Sunday's reflection, Dominique Barrington wrote about the courage to change as being holistic because it affects every aspect of our lives, heart, soul, strength, and mind. Changing direction in one aspect of our life will radiate out and manifest itself in multiple ways. The scripture above, from the seventh chapter of Matthew, talks about good fruit coming forth from good trees. In similar manner, good decisions and good changes that we make in our lives usually bear good fruit, and bad decisions usually bear bad fruit. Scripture reminds us that we will be known by the fruits that we bear. We are expressing something similar to good fruit when we say to someone we know who has made a positive change I could sense there was something different about you, and now I know what it is. Who among us has not been inspired to make a change in our lives because of the positive, contagious energy we have experienced from someone else making a similar change? As we have been talking about all week, change is hard work. How wonderful and rewarding it can be then when the hard work of change radiates from us in a way that others notice our more positive way of being in the world. Making it personal. Have you had the experience of others noticing that there is something different about you when you have made a change in your life? Have you ever noticed that, that in others? Have you had the experience of making a change in your life because you were inspired by someone else making a similar change? It seems to me that all of us bear both kinds of fruit, good and bad. That is to say, we all have good days and bad days. Sometimes we get it right and sometimes we get it wrong. And what we need in either case is some encouragement. When we get it right, it's nice to have someone notice the beautiful ripe fruit and say, wow, would you look at this? Isn't that great? And when we get it not so right, we need someone to pick up the fruit that's fallen on the ground and say, well, some of this looks okay. We can probably salvage some of it and make something quite good from it. In his first letter to the Thessalonians, Paul admonished them to encourage one another and build each other up. Won't you look for an opportunity soon to encourage someone, no matter what kind of fruit they are offering on any given day? May God continue to bless your Lenten journey and bring you with joy to the Easter feast.